Hey, what's up everyone? Um, Alright, so I'm going to be inoculating some jars today. So I'm going to get everything ready for you. Um, the oven's already preheated. So I put it on there for 375. I left it on for 20 minutes. Um, then I lowered it down to 275 and left it on there for 10 minutes. So it kind of evens out to 275. It's not too hot. Okay, so we're going to get our cardboard piece. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands with some antibacterial soap. So let me do that right now. Make sure you wash your hands really good. Scrub and scrub just like a surgeon would. So I wash my hands. They're clean enough for me. Just as long as you guys make sure you just, um, I, I like to take a shower before I do the inoculations, make sure I'm really clean. I put on new clothes. Um, that Because if you go outside in a shirt and you know there's spores on that shirt, you don't want to wear it if you're inoculating. Make sure you have something that's clean. Uh, very important. Okay, so I'm going to be doing only four jars for you guys because um, I don't want to be talking too much while I'm inoculating. It just might cause problems. Um, so I'm just going to let you guys see what I'm doing for the, for the four jars. So we're going to get our, um, our, our gloves. Put your gloves on. So uh, the reason I'm heating using the oven method is because it's proven and it's it it's been known to work uh, a lot better than the steel boxes that people use. Um, it the, the the heat from the oven will it lifts up the air and it just it takes all the the all the spores away um, from from the heat and all the you know if you can feel that the the radiant of the heat you'll 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 understand how that that's gonna help. Um, so I got my alcohol beaker right here. Let me see if, you, if I guess if, if you guys are seeing all this correctly. It looks like you guys are okay. So I got my alcohol beaker. Um, you want to, and I'll show you guys what I need. I have this for. Put that right there. I got my alcohol wipes. You guys need some alcohol wipes. Um, um, these are surgical gloves. I'm going to be using these. I normally use the surgical gloves. They're sanitized. They're, you know, they're for surgeons. So I get these from my wife's work. Um, so let me get the let me see what the first thing we need to do is um we are going to sterilize the syringe so i keep alcohol rubbing alcohol and some extra napkins and you just want to saturate this and first you want to before even doing that saturate your gloves with alcohol i just rub it on there and between the in between the fingers because you know things hide there Real good. Or you can use some um, Purell. You know that'll work too. So we're gonna sanitize the, the outside of the syringe. Really good. And this is gonna be our golden teacher. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys the, the syringes how they they work. Let me see if you guys can see that. But um, if you can see, there's um. I mean, there's, there's measurements so you want between 8 and 10 you know that's going to do about two jars so you want one cc per jar um, that's what's recommended so that's what I do um, I got my microspore tape I'm going to be using this to stick on the top of the lids I'm trying something new I'm going to use this it's breathable tape uh, so it's, I've heard it working really good um, so we'll get our first jar take off the I'm going to take off the foil, throw the foil away, we're not going to use it. I'm going to do my hands one more time. Alright, so I got this um, denatured, uh, it's, a, it's an alcohol, um, 
I don't know exactly what it's called, but as you can see, it's it, it's for light. It's for um, sterilizing the tip of the needle. This alcohol um, is not going to give off any type of soot or anything like that. Um, so we use this instead of a lighter because lighters give off soot for um, sterilizing the tip. So this is how we do this. Um, get some get alcohol ready. I want to um, wipe down the, the top with the alcohol. Then we're going to shake our spores, our syringes, really good. Shake them up. Okay. And then um, take off the, 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 the needle tip. And we're going to flame this needle until it's nice and hot. And I'm going to show you guys right here. Until it's nice and red. If you guys can see that. I hope you guys can. And then just let it sit about three seconds and then just let it sit to cool down while it's sitting to cool down we are going to um, let me see what else we need here no, I think that should be it we'll just let this cool down for a little bit if you want you could put some alcohol on it that way not too hot let it cool down because if you don't let this cool down it's your cake you're you're gonna burn your cakes and, and even possibly the sp uh, the spores in there, so you got to be very careful. Um, let it cool down, otherwise you're not going to have any mycelium growth, and you're going to wonder why you can have no mycelium growth. And this is the reason. Very important that you um, sterilize the needle, and um, and let it cool down properly. So I'm ready to inoculate my first jar. Just make sure this is cool, and I'm going to put it by the by the by the um the stove and then we're gonna go to the edge and if you can see you just want to put a couple drops in there and if you can see if I could bring it closer I'll try to do it the next one but I just wanna okay put that aside now every time you're doing between jars you want to um, and not um, sterilize your needle between jars so there's no contaminating each jar that's mandatory you got to do that that's just the way it's supposed to be done so while, while that's cooling I'm gonna remove this this one and then I'm going to wipe it down and then let this cool down a little bit all right and then we're gonna inoculate this one right here this one's a smaller one so if you guys can see the spores coming out you probably can't but you should see that you want to stick your needle on the edge where the glass is at that way not only do you see the spores but that's the recommended spot so that's done with that one so we will flame sterilize our tip again about three to five seconds it's glowing and then let that cool let's get our, just another jar here Wipe down our jar. Okay, this should be cool enough. So, right to the edge, put it up, put it all the way in, right to the edge, so you can see the spores coming out, and you can see the liquid coming out, and the one in the middle. I'm gonna probably not gonna keep doing the middle part, this because it might be wasting the the, the spores. A solution also it could be um, over uh, it's too much water it's going to throw off the water content in the jar so I might not be doing the middle um, the middle hole next time make sure your jars are all tight too because when they're in the, the, the steamer you want to give them a little you want to leave them just a little bit um, loose so let me flame sterilize the tip again because it's between the jars All right, wipe this down with alcohol. Let me get some more alcohol in this. Alcohol is your friend in here. You know, it's not drinkable alcohol. It's still, still, still gonna work for you. This is gonna be your best friend. It's a denatured alcohol is what you want. This is, you know, rubbing alcohol. Get some denatured alcohol. There's also alcohol, um, you know, um, swabs or pads that you could use. But they're too small I like to use whatever uh, the, the, the way I do it so here's um, just 
Take it right in the middle. A couple solutions of, of spores. And one in the middle for now. All right, so that's the way it is done as far as the inoculation goes and the things that you need. Now, it's, let me take, we'll blow that out. This over here. I'm going to put the needle back, uh, the, the, the tip back on the needle. That way you don't get no damn contaminants in it. And then um, the spores tape, I'm going to stick the spore tape over the holes. Uh, this just on about five or six jars just so I could um, test it. You know what I mean? This is an experiment, so I want to do everything differently. I'm also going to be um, uh, incubating these in a different way. I'm going to use um, a plastic bin and put a, a heating pad underneath to keep the warm. So I'm going to have three different methods of incubation. Um, the spore tape is breathable, so you, it's not going to be suffocating. It'll, st uh, th it'll still have the gas exchange, which is very important. Um, and then we'll see if, if it, 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 people say it's, it's not necessary and say it is. I, I don't know. I'm going to try it. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to keep, I just did those four just to show you guys. Um, so we got the oven. This is the oven method. Um, heat it up. Very important. Also turn off the AC. Turn off the air, any airflow in here. Um, you want to make sure you turn it off because, um, that's going to cause particles to fly around. You want to make sure as, as much of the air is still as possible. You want, you know, no movement of the air. Um, and that's how I do it. That's how I've been, um, you know, I, I do my research. So um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. All right. See you guys next time.